some ladies. These are some interesting blokes. <coughs> what? What? Hans, if you're gonna be a sidekick, I prefer that you don't sass my ladies. Oh. I've gotta talk to the bloody agent. Tell us about our guest, sweetie. Sweetie? <laughs> Andrew has written himself a book called Cult of the Amateur. How today's internet is killing our culture. Sounds provocative. Mr. Scoble is known the world over as the most famous blogger. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks. It's a sunny day in California, am I right, ladies? Now, sweetie, can I ask you what's so bad about the internet? Because I love it. I love shopping on it. Have you been online recently? Um, I don't really know how to start the computer, so no. There's a lot of junk, and uh, there's a lot of porn, there's a lot of gambling. I am completely against some of these things. But um, if I wanted to get one of these internets, where would I go? Buns, I uh, think we'll chat later. Andrew, I don't understand. Isn't this internet one big community? This has become an echo chamber. It's not a place where, where people with different opinions meet and discuss things in a coherent way. A lot of people talking to one another, but really just talking to themselves. I've seen Buns talk to himself quite a few times. He thinks no one can see him. It's anonymity that's so corrosive, so disturbing. When people don't have to put themselves online, when they don't have to reveal them who they really are, they behave like beasts. Oh, I don't like beasts. I don't like beasts either. I like to hide. People know me. I like to keep it real. And a lot of this user-generated content, it just seems more authentic. The authentic has become commodified. And that in itself is taking place now on Web 2.0, where the blogosphere is itself a commodification of authenticity. <laughs> there are some great amateurs there. So why cult? My, my critique is of, of, of a cult which suggests that the less you know, the more you know. So it's Jimmy Wales, the father of Wikipedia, made a very famous remark. He said, I trust a 14-year-old kid as much as a Harvard professor. But I think it would depend on which Harvard professor. <laughs> Bad one, Bonds. Good one. Hmm. There are some important issues raised here, that's for sure. It's a difficult subject and you stimulated a great conversation. It seems sometimes you shot from the hip a little bit. Yeah. Did you read Lawrence Lessig? And one other thing, sometimes it seems the professionals destroy culture as much as anybody. Wham! Comes to mind. Wake me up! God, please save us. You guys are the cutest rabbits I've ever met, and certainly the cutest rabbits that's ever interviewed me. Good luck with your professional careers as broadcasters. That was great, huh? Was Robert on the video conference? Robert, are you there? Hello, 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 the world. Hello, Robert. Sweetie, look over here. Is everything okay with your equipment there? Let's talk blogging. You know, I... I'm like one of the top, I don't know, 50 bloggers. So, as far as blogging goes, you're like the cat's pajamas. Who have you been talking to lately? Last week I had Bill Gates, and uh, I was on John Edwards' plane to study how he's using social media to talk to the world. Has Bill ever done a show with rabbits? He seems like a rather nice chap. I think he loves animals. How do you see blogging and social and new media? And the world is shrinking, uh, you know, one thing that's really interesting is when I go around the world and meet with, uh, you know, we, we get together in uh, London like we did a month ago, and, you know, 40 people show up on the spur of the moment. And why? Because I write on my blog, we're meeting here at 2 p.m., let's go drinking, you know? And, weird. and it's very weird. The world is in the size of a conference room now, and that's something that a lot of people haven't really gotten into. I blogged once that I'd be out by the flower garden. No one showed up. So, it's kind of like talking to your friends, 
it almost gets cult uh, uh, cultish a little bit, or uh, echo. People call it echo chamber, you know, or it almost is like, wow, these are like in my club, you know. They're, and you can forget that, no, they're not really in your club at all. You're just reading them, just like you would read a, a newspaper a journalist or a columnist, something like that. <laughs> You might have a jack into your head, and you might have uh, something that draws images on the back of your retina, so I could see your email address floating over your head. It doesn't sound comfortable. Um, it's that augmented human experience where a computer is, the computerized system is augmenting your experience and giving you like a heads up display in your head of what's going on. You know, so I'm looking at you and I'm able to to just think and pull up your Wikipedia page. I mean, imagine coming back in a hundred years. What What is this world going to be like? Sugar. Ugh, bad connection. Wikipedia in me head. Well, I wouldn't even have to go to the computer for the history of action figures. Yeah.